Hey, how's it going? Uh, I've been uh, working on some new patterns lately with my Digitact, and my workflow tends to be pretty uh, melody-driven. Uh, I'll come up with some melodies first and uh, kind of build patterns off of that. But as you probably know, on the Digitact, you can only really sequence things uh, monophonically. So in order if I want to play like chords, I want to play like parts that have melodies that kind of layer on top of each other. I have to like, okay, uh, record one note in one track, uh, and then the next note in another track, you know, depending on what I want to play. That's how I can get chords. Um, now, now, as you know, that workflow is kind of not great. Um, my usual way I play and write parts is like I will, you know, uh, I'll play and I'll just have like play my part, you know, uh, play my melody there. Um, and then to do that and to layer that multiple times over and to kind of figure out which voices re uh, rely on which tracks isn't isn't a great workflow so i was kind of like wishing that i had mpe support or some other way i can play um, i have uh off screen here a uh a hydrosynth explorer um, which has a keyboard um, which you know, i can play notes on but looking into ways of making it work polyphonically um, and the ways I've looked at it, the retro kits, uh, maybe loopback cable, or through some plugins I've seen, Polynator, but that seems like should be something simple to do. Um, I figured out a way to do it pretty simply in Ableton. First though, uh, I want to set up a thing in the Digitact. You go to your settings, uh, MIDI config, and then channels. Um, what I went ahead and did is mapped every channel uh, through 1 through 16. Um, it's kind of the full the full range of, of motion I would I'd want there, um, and then port config I did turn off receive CC. Um, I think this doesn't work great with getting CCs anyway, so just kind of less signal or noise there. All you do in Ableton here is um, I have a track here, MIDI track. Um, I'm getting MIDI from my Hydrosynth Explorer, so I can play you know from this from here, um, and then MIDI two. Uh, you normally specify your channels. And then you have MPE, but uh, Digitact currently doesn't support any MPE. But I was kind of looking around, and there's MPE settings here um, in Ableton. There's actually an option here that just says uh, multi-channel. So it will already it, this will, uh, as far as I can tell, will split up the channels. Um, so I have I can set up from uh, multi-channel channel two to sixteen, um, which I left out channel one because I just have a basic drum track on there. All right, so yeah, so I can just play single notes and assign different channels to it. Uh, or I can uh, go ahead and play uh, chords. Um, or I can play, you know, I can just uh, go ahead and play along to it and uh, see what garbage I can come up with. Obviously, uh, that could be a lot better. Just demonstration purposes, whatever. All right, just a little cool thing I, I discovered. Um, hope it's useful. Um, I'll talk to you later.